consider a light beam emitted by a source. It can be considered as a jet of particles called photons. Photons travel along straight paths at a very high speed. However, the light is also an electromagnetic wave. What does this mean? Well, it first means that at all points of the light beam there is an oscillating electric field which is inseparable from the photon jet. The plane of oscillation is perpendicular to the beam. Second, there is also an oscillating magnetic field. Its plane of oscillation is perpendicular to the light beam and to the electric field. Both fields are in phase. This means that if we focus on a specific point of the beam, they reach their maxima at the same time and cancel at the same time. The more intense the beam, the greater the amplitude of both fields. Now let's freeze the image at any time. The distance between two consecutive maxima or two consecutive minima is the wavelength of our beam. It is often represented with the symbol lambda, the Greek equivalent of our L. Different sources of light, whether or not visible, will normally emit electromagnetic waves with different wavelengths. Now focus on a specific point of the beam and observe the two fields defined at that point. Let's measure the time it takes for both fields to complete an oscillation. This time interval is the period of the electromagnetic wave. We call frequency of the wave the number of oscillations that the fields complete in a second. This definition implies that the frequency is the inverse of the period. It is represented as nu, the Greek n, and is measured in hertz. A hertz is an oscillation per second. Our light wave and the photons take a time t to travel a distance equal to the wavelength. Therefore, the speed of light is the quotient of both quantities.